G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 110, Fire Team 788. Stick around. What's up and welcome across Fire Collectibles. Today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 110, the Fire Team 788. So, new three pack for, I guess, the Hiss Infantry, and you get a Kerber Hiss Officer, Range Viper, and Infantry. Cool. As you can see the box, it's got the colors of the Hiss tank, you know, the red and black. It's got the new logo on it, it even says Kerber Hiss, Fire Team 788. There's your figures. There's some Hiss tanks in the background. Cobra logo. Good stuff. Flip to the side. There you have you know, kind of an artist render, which you can barely make out. 110. Go around to the back. And just like the uh, the Hiss tank figures, like the backs of their cards would show you, you know, these schematics and all. So that's pretty cool. You have the stuff down here, blast effects and all them goodies. Can't wait to get into these. Uh, at the top of each figure, you'll see the stats. So here's the Hiss Officer. Here's the Range Viper. And here is the Infantry. Go around to the side, you know, 788, Cobra Hiss. Semper Fidelis Serpens, and your UPC, Jadger Classified, and your Semper Fidelis Serpens again. So that's the box. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and pop this open. But first, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for future content. All right, so let's try. Break out the uh, trusty dusty, and we'll get this popped open. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and pop this from the top, so it's new. And we'll get these puppies out. So now we just need that uh, that SMS, or if they're gonna release any of the um, any more, you know, hitched vehicles, that would be nice. Still waiting on that uh, possibility of a Cobra Asp coming, but you know, we can hope. So here is your extra long accessory box. You see Cobra Hiss, uh, Fire Team 788. Almost like a briefcase handle. 110 and 110 all black we'll get to that let's go ahead and show uh, these figures off and here they are so we'll start over you know we'll go from left to right we got the Cobra Hiss officer the range viper and infantry cool 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 can't wait to get into these all right so uh we gotta go ahead and pop each one of these out you know, as it was expected so bear with me as i do this figures are out and as you can see their little cardboard dungeon here does not have anything but a plain all black background so it kind of blows but it is what it is so anyways we got the figures out and go ahead and go over them so we'll start with the officer and here he is and i'm seeing a possible flaw let's hope it's not real Looks like one of his legs are longer than the other. Um, I don't know, straighten him up some. Might just be, you know, the way he was in the box. I hope. I can't really tell. But anyways, here he is. Uh, I'm really digging, you know, the all black jumpsuit with the red, you know, highlights in it. All around the, uh, the web gear. You know, you got it on the hand guards, gauntlets. Uh, he's got it on his sheath, his knee pads, gray boots, gray gloves with the, the red armor, gray mask, you know, black hood, red cover sigil, good stuff, he looks good. Quickly go over his articulation, head is on a ball joint, it can move forward that far and up that far, a little bit off side to side, and it'll rotate a full 360. So, nice, nice, nice. Uh, you see the shoulders. There's butterfly joints. 
arm can rotate full 360, can come up this far. And there's also the rib right in here, if you can see that. It's a logo, I just can't make it out. I think it's the, uh, the Semper Fidelis. Let's see if I can get in there. Let's see if I can get in there a little closer. Can't make it out. But anyways, bicep swivel, double jointed pinned elbows, uh, hand is on that hinge peg, can rotate 360 and can move inward and outward. Uh, there is ab crunch, that far forward, that far back. The web gear and the belt itself are separate pieces. You see the belt sets up quite high just at the top of the waist with the holster over on the right side. There's drop legs, uh, thigh swivel, double jointed pin knees, there's calf rotation, and there is a hinge at the ankle to go forward that far, up that far, and side to side pivot. So that's your officer, and we'll see how he stands. He stands okay. Now next, let's move on to the Range Viper. And he looks nice. You know, same red and black. Uh, got the gray. Nice gray accents on there. Here you can see the uh, logo up on his shoulder a little bit better. You can see there's definitely a Cobra symbol in there. I believe it says December Fidelis Serpents. I believe I just can't really make it out that well. Looking at the camera, it's hard to tell as well. But or something there. This side, you can definitely make that one out. 788 on his left shoulder. I don't think he had one. No, there isn't one on the officer, just a range viper. Um, he's got that right there on his chest as well, if you can see it. And uh, let's check his articulation out. So the same ball joint on the head, side to side, forward and up. Can rotate that full 360. See the arms will come out about that far. Might come out a little more. Yeah, this one will come up better. Almost not much higher. Put that back down. He's got bicep rotation. Uh, see if I can go all the way around. Double jointed, pinless elbows. Down to the hand, hinge peg again, and it can go in and out. Ab crunch, but the uh, the vest is going to obstruct the movement. Waist swivel. Let's see, the vest is a separate piece as well as the belt. Two, uh, well, two pieces on each leg. This side you have a three pouch prop leg hold up holster. Uh, the right leg you have the pistol holster. You have some pouches in the front. There's drop legs, thigh rotation. Double jointed pinless knees. And we'll get down to that calf. And there's the swivel at the top of the boot, right at the end of the pants. Uh, the hinge at the ankle, forward that far, up that far, and side to side pivot. It's cool. Range Viper, he's a, like, like the, uh, the regular release, a little more movable, but really sick ass looking face. That skull looks pimp. Especially with the, uh, you know, the red eyes, you can see, you know, the red mask underneath shining through around the jawline and the nose and then off on the sides. So that's really cool. He looks good. I like him. Check out his standing. He's a little off. It's just a matter of how the legs are positioned and pointed. And he stands a little bit taller than the officer. Um, not much, but a little bit. And finally, we'll bring in the infantry. So here he is. He looks he looks cool too. He um kind of looks like the uh the eel that came with the uh the San Diego night landing. You know what I'm talking about? I'll show you a picture. He's got that uh red, you know, reverse black. A little bit different than the officer. I just like how some of it's filled in a little more. He actually looks a lot cooler. Uh let's see, he's got the uh gray and black vest. Um he's actually got armor, you know, over his shins as opposed to just the boots like the officer. Um Red accents, he's got the knee pads, the arm guards. Yeah, he looks cool. Looks real cool. Different vest too. So they all wear in different 
know, types of uh, web gear on them. So that's pretty, pretty nice looking. Curver sigil, looks like it's in black with some red in there. Flip around to the back. He looks neat. You see his uh, skin complexion, he's not a Caucasian. It does look like he has a, uh, like his left eye is messed up. Maybe it's the paint job, maybe I'll have a, a borked copy, but his eye is either shooting up to the side or he's got a blind eye. It's hard to tell. Anyway, I kind of dig it, you know, it adds to the character. Uh, articulation on this one, um, head moves a little bit, but that's with the neck movement uh, down and up, not much at all. It's on a ball joint. You see the arms come up that far. You can move around. Bicep swivel, double jointed pinned elbows. And there's the hinge peg at the wrist. You can go in and out. Um, of course, he's got ab crunch as well, but this vest is gonna fully obstruct, you know, any movement forward or backward. Waist swivel, drop legs, thigh swivel, double jointed pin knees. There's calf rotation at the top of the shin guard and the bottom of the pant, one of this portion of the pants. Uh, go down to the ankle area. Yeah. The hinge allows to go forward that far and up that far, as well as your side to side pivot. So the feet are totally different than the officer, which is cool. I like that. And uh, he looks great, man. He looks really good. Stand him up. And that's your fire team. Now we're gonna go over the accessories. So we got this again. Instead of opening up from the top, they straight up open up from the side. And bag one. Let's see what else we got. Here. Bag two. Oh look, crap. And then bag three. So this may take a minute because I don't know which bag has which. So we're gonna start with this one. G.I. Joe Cobra bag. Pop it open. And, wow, there's mad goodies in that one. A lot. So this looks like your maybe your infantry bag. So we'll start with the backpack. And here you have, you know, the, uh, I guess the rocket holding backpack, all gray. Um, here's your rocket, your rockets on here. And one, two, three, four, all in gray as well. And I'm actually going to go ahead and load these up. So I'll pop in one, two, three, Four. and there they are uh, cool cool back that up to the side we have a weapon here encased in some cardboard with a piece of tape so we're going to cut that and take that out and here we have so here we have this nice like heavy rifle and you can see there is no stock on it which is wild you have this maybe sight scope up on the top um, you have this magazine, looks like a, like a drum magazine, you know, rolling into it, feeding in the, uh, the ammo right here. That's nice. You got this front grip, you know, cool deal, man. Hold it into the barrel for a blast effect. So that thing's got some, gonna have some firepower to it. Here you have grenade launcher, all black, you know, pretty basic. I'm wondering if some of these guns, like these weapons are all mixed up, so I'm not sure, you know, what's what. What we're going to do while we do this is actually flip this around, because this will show off to the side over here, you know, what stuff is with who. So this will go with the range wiper. So that's his. We see that. So yeah, they are mixed up. So this will be the range wiper's grenade launcher as well. So you see the hole at the front for blast effects also. And we'll put that back there. Um, a couple things. We do have a few different pistols in here. So here is your normal small black pistol. Uh, pretty neat. There's also a hole for a blast effect. So we will put this with the officer. Yeah. Alright, second pistol. You know, 
pretty much the same as the first one, except this one has an extended magazine coming out of it that is not removable. Uh, hole at the end for a blast effect. And this, according to the back, goes with the Range Viper. All right, next up, we have you know, your typical, I would say infantry, but it's not. This one will go with the officer. And here's your, you know, blaster. Um, all black. You have extended magazine that is removable. Hole at the end for blast effects. Yeah, very cool. All right, now getting a little different here. And you got a pickaxe. This will also go with the range viper. So all black, a little warped. You know, you have the uh, hatchet side on this end, the pick over here, the ridged handle comes down to the bottom here and almost looks like like it could be pliers that are not functional, but still pretty neat. There's a hole in there. I should be able to hang off something, hopefully, but we'll see when we get to all that. So four for the range harbor so far, and this will make five. And here is like a sigh. You know, all black. You have a wider point here. Um, these two, I guess, guards with smaller almost hooked pieces on the side, ridged handle, and a kind of a dual fronted, you know, hand, bottom of the handle here. So, neat. Next up, we have this, uh, like assault rifle right here. And this looks pretty neat. This will go with the officer, all black. Two holes at the end of each of these barrels for blast effects. Um, there's, looks like it would have an extendable stock, but it doesn't. There's a magazine that is removable. And bam, that's in there. Cool stuff. And then finally for that bag, we have the small knife, which will also go to the officer. You can see the all black handle, silver blade, and not much to that. Bag number two. Again, you have your Cobra logo this open dump out all the goodies in here and once more you know it's loaded with them there's a bunch of stuff in this as well get that out of here and these are your helmets so start with this one and this looks like this will be your infantry helmet you know all black it's got the red accent and a little red mark on the front so we'll put that right there with him Second helmet, and here is your officer. You know, black with the red accents. That's really cool. 788 on the side. There's your little officer symbol right here. Uh, it doesn't look like nothing on that side, all black. But I like that a lot. That's really cool. That's a major bonus. So, all right, next we have uh, ammo bandolier. And it's obvious this will go with the range viper. So, it's pretty cool. He's loaded with stuff. It's crazy. Oh, uh, we got another backpack here. Kind of move through these fairly, fairly quickly. So I was going to get that cardboard off. And here's the Range Viper backpack. You see, it's all black. There's your tank at the top. Your tube that feeds off and sticks into the back of his helmet or mask. Um, you have a radio kind of in its little holder right here that is not removable. Extra ammo. A red light down the bottom pouch on each side uh this opening in the back to be able to you know hang one of your guns in there from the scope and your peg for his back so cool set that there and then we have this sheath so you could use this you know mainly for any of the figures but um i guess it's going to depend who's going to carry which rifle so like if we take this one for example you know That'll fit in there a little bit. And then you got the back plug. So plug that right on in and that character can hold, you know, this weapon on their back. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use that for yet. So put that aside. Uh, let me see. One more piece here before we move on because there's some other stuff in here. But here you have the uh, kind of handkerchief or bandana, whatever you want to call it, neckerchief that will hang from the range viper. All red. Flexible plastic. That's it. Blast effects. So yeah, this one. Same blast effects that came with the Viper 3 pack. 
but yeah, there, this one's got some more orange to it. So apart from just seeing, you know, your normal blast effects like you would like this, you know, you have your white smoke at the end coming out to, you know, the more orange flame down that end. You have some of these which are in blue, which is very cool. Blue moving into clear. Um, that's a new addition. There's a few of these. So you have that long shot. You have the more medium shot. So that's nice. And then you have this, you know, rapid shot. So that's really cool. All right, back to the other fire, fire, uh, back to the other fire effects. You have, you know, this one, which I never really cared for. Uh, you have this one. You have this one. One of my favorites. And this one, which I always liked, you know, the after smoke effect. Very cool. So there you go, your nine uh, blast effects are right down here. Now we'll move on to the final bag and see what we got in this one. a few things. Alright, so here you have two long blast effects. Uh, this one, you can obviously see all red smoke right here. It's like crazy long. Hole in front right here. And you got this giant plug back here. And I'll show you something with them in a moment. Let's go on to the smaller one. You know, same thing, you got the red, and then the smoke plug. And then you have your bazooka. So, cool stuff. All gray, it's got like a red, you know, blanket, towel, mat, kind of uh, strapped around it. Um, you have your extra piece right here that we've seen before, you know, with bazooka. So you simply line up that peg with that hole and plug that on in. There you go. So next, if you want to actually use this for a blast effect, you're going to take this end and you're just going to slide it on down in there like that. You go over to your backpack, take out one of your rockets and slide that on in like that. So that thing was flying, ready to make a, a hell of a blast cool man it's really cool so all right that's all of the accessories i want to back this up real quick this set is loaded so man let's go ahead and um we'll start gearing them up i think we're going to start with infantry he has the bazooka and i'd like to actually use that first so i'm going to go ahead and take his backpack line that plug up with the hole in his back and pop that on in and go to the helmet. See your 788 on the side. Super cool. It's very awesome. Pop out on them like so. Wonder why no goggles. No, no goggles came with these, but not worried about it. So there he is so far. And then basically he just gets a bazooka. So let's see how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna bring this around. Pop his hand up in here. Get that finger up through the trigger guard. I might have to give him a very awkward pose, but we're gonna bring his other hand up here because this thing is gonna make him a bit top heavy. So we'll have him hold it, actually turning his head and uh, possibly aiming a bit. So I think instead of actually having him stand up, there's no way he's gonna stand without a stand, or maybe he will. There we go with the blast effect on there. It looks a little crooked, but then again, some of these weapons are warped. We straighten it out some, looks okay. And um, I still think he's gonna look better, you know, in a kneeling position. So I'm gonna go ahead and bend this leg. Let's see how it looks. Oh, he's gotta get down, it's too high. Yeah, something like that. Cool. That was great. 
So we've got some stuff we're not going to use, and then we'll pull the blast effects to the side, and then we'll move on to the Range Viper. Um, I'll try to fit as much on him as I can. Start with some neck neckerchief. Um, take the ammo bandolier around his arm and, and head, and I kind of pull that down like this. Arm back down, go around to the backpack and plug that on in. Make sure it's in there. Take that tube and connect it to the back of the mask or helmet, like that. And then the weapons. Uh, let me see. We go ahead and hang the grenade launcher from his backpack. So we'll slide it up into that opening underneath the backpack so it's you know able to hang like that and store. We're gonna take his pistol and slide that into the holster right here. All right, the little pickaxe, which I think it doesn't have a spot to hold, but that's okay. Um, we still use it for something. We can take this sigh here and uh slide it down through this uh, little loop on his belt so that will slide right into there like that and then we're gonna go ahead and give him this gun so it'll be going in with some heavy firepower like that bring his hand up Put it around that grip. So he just looks he just looks mean, which is nice. Um, I don't think we need to do anything with the pickaxe. I mean there's no room to hang this off of, but I don't think we need it. So this is just gonna be an extra accessory we'll put to the side. However, I am gonna give this a blast effect and uh I'm gonna go with this one. This is, I, I like this one, it's just one of my favorite. Plug that on in there like that. Let's see if we can pull this arm back some. Yeah. All right, so he's good to go. And then finally, we'll go over to the officer, and um, we'll give him the back sheath. Like that. We will slide the assault rifle into there, so he doesn't have to, you know, hold it slide in there as far as we can like that now definitely gonna give him that helmet and that's on we'll go over to his little belt holster and pop that pistol in right there we'll grab the knife and bring it around to the knife sheath and we'll slide it in right there so knife's a little short for that sheath, but it's okay, it works. And then we're gonna bring our nifty laser blaster in and pop that finger to the trigger guard. And with this one, I'm gonna give him one of the blue effects, which is this neat little rapid fire one. That looks really cool. Maybe you should have two guns. Yeah, I'm gonna have him load, load two. And there we have it. So they're all geared up and ready to go. So they look cool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot of them with the hiss and we'll show you guys right here. So cool, they were fun to do. Um, I'm gonna spin this back around. So what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm actually gonna change up the officer to Kind of how I have on the thumbnail. And um, put a few things, you know, holster them back up and have him, you know, with his hand up, you know, almost like a, like a hold position. I think I'll do that. And then we're going to throw all these guys on the turntable and we're going to give you some final thoughts. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Be sure to check out our previous videos. A link will always be pinned in the comments. Now, back to G.I. Joe. All right. Here is 
the G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 110, the Fire Team 788, Cobra His Officer, Range Viper, and Infantry. Wow, man. Nice three-pack. They, uh, they fit together so well. They come with so much stuff. Um, they look great with the His Tank. It's These, these are phenomenal. Um, I absolutely love them. Uh, I did have two sets of these ordered originally, but I got one hit, so I don't need a second team, you know, so I went ahead and canceled one. I just got the one, and um, I gotta say, I'm very happy with it. Um, the only real issue I have mainly is, you know, the blast effects. Some of the weapons, they have that warping. Hasbro really needs to get on it with that, that stuff coming warped, you know. Do it a little bit sturdy or plastic or something, because I'm getting a little, little fed up with the, you know, the bent stuff. I gotta, you know, take the time and heat them and flatten them out myself and it's kind of a pain but apart from that these new designs even though they're repaints you know they look they look really good they fit well um there's just this is something that if you could troop build i i think i would oppose to the uh the original colors these these look great um absolutely love them i love like the special little details you know you got the the semper fidelis serpents logos and on the sides of the helmets and then on the side of the range viper arm that stuff is cool man it looks really cool the blast effects for the bazooka it's a plus but overall nice set man if you guys got it nice if you didn't uh, you might have to go to second market because the uh hasbro pulse is sold out but um anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end it with that this was a kind of long video setting everybody up but this this was fun these are these guys look great i'm really happy with it so anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Uh, if you did, please, like always, leave that giant thumbs up. Subscribe. Tickle that bell so you know if I post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media. And I think that's going to do it for a few days before we get to something else. But we will be back this week with some new stuff. So stick around. Peace.